So we're advancing onto the next part of the game, which is this castle, and we're off to save a princess. I'm just kidding, we're off to kill a boss. So inside the castle, I discover this dark room where I hear an enemy having a giggle. I turn around and there's this knight coming at me. Oh sh I thought he was gonna be slow, but then he just turbo smashes me with his shield and finishes me with a good prod. How is a guy with such tonk armor gonna be that fast? I am already dead. So I'm on my way back to the knight and this guy toots on a horn. Let me show you how I lost my runes. No, my ruins! We're back at the night, only this time I whipped out my turtle shield, you know, make it easy. Oh. Yeah, that's what you get, son! That's what you get when you mess with the warrior. You get the turtle shield. I continue to explore the castle. We found some armor. Should help because my health bar is absurdly small and I have no skill to make up for it. Anyway, there's these birds tossing explosive barrels at us. And then I find an ogre with a pet poodle. I jump off the top ropes, give him a whack. I run away. As I'm fighting the dog, the ogre steps in and assassinates the poor fella. Oh my gosh, he's still alive. He killed his dog, dude. This guy's pretty effortless, but um, I get a boot to the face because I was getting greedy with the melees. When I return, I learn that jump attacks are completely overpowered. From here on out, yo, I just went Super Mario. Like, I'm spamming the jump button every fight. Spam jump attack, you will break his post his posture. Okay, I'll try that. Okay, it works. It works. How did you know? How did you know? Next, we get attacked by this beast. It's no sweat. I simply just jump and spank his cheeks. Oh, thank goodness. Easy game. If you know The Legend of Zelda, you farm rupees from pots, right? Well, in Elden Ring, the pots farm you. <laughs> nah, they, they don't really. They're actually very delicate, just like real pots. So at the end of the castle, we find another misty entrance. You know the deal, another boss. I summon this warrior chick named Nefeli. I grab the grace, I traverse the mist. <laughs> Hey, it's another handsome fellow, of course, and his name is Godric. I am the lord of all that is golden. The fight begins, and 10 seconds in, it appears he's an airbender. I get caught in a mini tornado, <laughs> and I simply pass away. The next round didn't go so bad, actually. I spammed the jump attacks, made it to phase two. This is where Godric starts screaming. <laughs> I thought he was about to rage quit, but then he cuts off his own arm and fuses with a dragon's head. Oh, Phase two starts and Godric hits me up with a fire tornado, forward roll, axe swing, and I just get deleted. A friend tells me about the spirit jellyfish that can be useful for this fight. So I go to get it. I make my way back to the castle, summon the warrior chick, traverse the mist, call in my jelly, and then I put this guy down, son! And I'm actually talking about me because I put myself down a ditch. Oh my gosh, I rolled off the map. I give it another attempt and we finally kill Godric. He died, he died, he died, but I died. But he's dead. But I died. I died too though, so it didn't count. All right, so we're back at it again. And this time, at last, we finally defeat him. The warrior chick stole my kill though. The chick killed him. <laughs> Woo! Before I continued onto the next part of the game, I found out about an enemy that I had missed that drops a powerful weapon. I head back to the first area, traverse, and I find some lion lizard monster with a long sword. We give him the jump attack, jellyfish combo. It was a painless fight. The enemy did in fact drop a powerful weapon. Some ugly ass giant pinecone. It has an even slower swing than my golden axe. I'm not even sure if I like this. So at this stage, I'm lacking health and I should definitely stay here and level up in the first area. So what do I do? I go to the next area for a certain ass whooping. I'm ready, I'm ready. When you enter the next area, you're met by this amazing view, right? Wow, incredible. I mean, it looks so good that my graphics card melted. And in this new area, most of it is a giant lake and I'm just getting my ass whooped left, right and center. There's giant lobsters oh my gosh dude he, I got killed by a lobster there's a freaky bird with a jumbo head there's a spirit giant with sorcery spells H hello I died <laughs> I almost killed him actually we got this guy he one shot me man and then there was this freaky thing Oh my god, dude, I can't kill this thing. The only enemy I did beat was one of the lobsters, but his mate backstabbed me. You just have to figure out each mob, I guess, even if it is just a little lobster. There we go. How many runes? 500. Oh! 
So I'm wandering around, I find this chick chilling in the middle of the lake. She gives you a quest to retrieve her necklace. I was streaming the game at this point, uh, let me just show you how it went. Could I ask you lend a hand? That thug made off with a precious necklace. I need someone to retrieve it. What are you looking at? You trying to start something, mate? Oh, this is the dude! We found him! What, I can buy the necklace? I mean, what if I just kill him? I'm gonna whip up the fattest strike you've ever seen, guys. Get ready for it. Just in case the sky's a god. Did that hurt? Did I get you good? Think you put you up to this, eh? Oh, he's no, low. I'll rip you to shreds. Oh, he's healed up. <laughs> yeah, he's got boxing gloves, metal boxing gloves. Let's go. I just do my heavy attack. It's easy. I feel bad for him now, though, because he's not hes not very strong. I never lose. He looks like Bomber Man. God damn it. Yo, we got a new helmet, though. That's what I wanted today. Yeah, we got a fist weapon. We needed a fist weapon. There we go. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude, we're looking good. <laughs> the thing about this game is like you always need a load of range, right? And now look at us. <laughs> Where are we gonna be boxing? I forgot to mention, we acquired this dragon fist weapon from Godric, and now I was able to use it. It has this special attack where you thrust it upwards and it spews flames everywhere, right? Oh, that's awesome. I'm gonna sneak up on them. I'm gonna use the flame attack. It's gonna destroy them all, please. Let's go, let's go. Oh, oh. Yo, the flame effects, quite delightful, but the damage, it plain sucked. I couldn't even take out these pack of tadpoles. Maybe I was using it wrong, I don't know. The cartwheels, get out, oh my God, you always get stuck in the terrain. As I said before, I, I need more health. So I came up with a list of things to do in this area. Number one, leave. That's it, <laughs> on my way out, I managed to awaken this dragon and it cooked me like an air fryer. Oh my gosh, that killed me. By the way, another thing I forgot about. This perfectly normal old lady we found. Oh, it's not even an enemy. What the heck? Your fingers. Please, your fingers. Show hands. Oh, bless you. Oh. Um kind of awkward. So this is when my character starts to ascend, right? I played some multiplayer with my friend Rainier and he took me out on a date to kill a dragon. Wanna see a cool spell? Yeah. This dragon is massive and it has a massive health pool too. However, it doesn't attack you and if you punch it for long enough, you'll eventually kill it and it will give you a lot of runes and you can level up. So we're whacking away at the dragon, tickling its health bar and five minutes in, we get invaded. Oh fuck, we're getting invaded. This is when an online player enters your world as an enemy. And I'm not gonna lie, I got a bit scared. I thought, yo, this guy's probably a professional gamer with his elite Xbox controller about to mess us up. That wasn't the case. My friend shot a magical arrow into his chest and I clubbed him. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> D-back. So finally, we kill the dragon and it disappears like it's been snapped by Thanos. I get a bunch of runes. Yes! I level up my stats and we actually have some respectable health now. Feels good. My character's appearance, however, I straight up look like an idiot. So what do we do? We adventure forth to farm some new armor. Apparently it was gonna take over an hour to collect all the pieces, right? But we killed a couple of mobs and all of it dropped instantly. My friend picked up most of it and he pooped it out on the floor for me. Ooh, oh, it's the gloves here. You got the gloves, then you just... <laughs> Wait, well, you have the boots? Uh, yeah. That was super fast. I equipped the new armor and damn bro, I straight up look magnificent. The armor's too heavy though. <laughs> that roll. <laughs> so I head back to the latest area with my newfound power. Remember the spirit giant? We delete him. Remember the freaky bird? Also deleted. Remember this thing? Deleted. What about the cartwheeling tadpoles? I just give them the Hulk Slam, bro. He's deleted too. So now we can finally explore this area without getting one shot, right? The first thing I find is a demolished church. There's a guy standing outside and he gives you an item that allows you to invade other people's worlds. Hell yes, here we go. It's PvP time. So I spawn into someone else's game, right? I buff myself up and then I see a player named Nicole sprinting at me with that ugly ass pinecone. <laughs> I run in, bait the heavy attack, and then I just go ballistic on the offense. But as I continue, a naked man jumps from nowhere. 
Two versus one, let's go. The naked man leaps again. I thought he was after me, but I guess he just wanted to cut the grass. And then the coal accidentally whacks him with the pine cone. I managed to kill the poor guy by sniping him with my ax. <gasps> Nicole is at 1 HP now, and this knight on a horse intervenes. I'm thinking, yo, this NPC better not steal my kill. But then the NPC, it straight up stole my kill. Would you allow me to hold you? But briefly. Ah, oh, my thanks, great champion. Yeah, so it's pretty tough out there. Anyway, we're on to the next part of the game and we're greeted by another amazing view. I mean, this game looks so good. It's like, it's, it's pretty much worth the fact that my GPU is melting. As I proceed to the entrance of the academy, I'm met by two sorcerers with odd helmets. They're giving off a vibe like, get away from our door, bitch. <laughs> and then they go full auto on the spells. It was like getting invited to Hogwarts, but then when you arrive, everyone's trying to kill you. I killed them both though, piece of cake. And then I opened the main door. Hold up. Wait a minute! I thought this was going to be another boss, but it turned out to be just another wizard. <laughs> so I end up in this graveyard, and it's time for more hugs. Only it's from a zombie this time. These enemies suck away at your mana, but I don't I don't even do spells, dude. I just wear armor and whack stuff. We escaped the graveyard and there was some falling water. Yo, this is the first shower we've had since the beginning of the game. We gotta get our character fresh for Melina, you know? So up next, there's a mini boss. Some monster tossing gravity magic at us. Kinda rude. Oh. It's no problem though. I'm spinning circles, hitting them with the heavies. There was a blood stain here and I checked on it to see how other players fared versus this monster. No god! No god, please no! I find myself back inside the walls of the academy and I discover the mist. You know what that means? Boss fight. I traverse it. There's a wolf named Radagon in here. I buff myself with the golden axe. I perform a dodge, a jump attack. It's just too busted. Like look at the damage. What on earth? Oh, that's the stuff. So the wolf goes in for a munch, I ain't having it, and he gets scared, he starts casting spells. It's all good, I'm out here running, elegantly, and we defeat Radagon. <laughs> After this boss, I find myself balancing on a bridge to a set of stairs, right? It's like, cool, there's some, there's some loot over here. Should be completely safe, right? Of course not, it's Elden Ring. I get squished by a giant bowling ball. <laughs> I make my way to the top of the stairs, I roll through the ball, then I encounter this enemy called Moongrum, and I gotta hand it to this guy. He completely baited me. Moongrum was pretending to be a newbie, but as soon as I got this man weak, he released a sword made of magical light and stabbed me in the gut. Twice. I put him in his place next round though, bonked him on the head, twice, and then I took an elevator to the very top of the academy. There's a large door here that leads to a library room. It's pretty spooky. And then we're hit with a cutscene and I'm, um, you know, big boss, I guess. So as my character wanders in, some chick tries to munch on his feet. What the fuck? And all of a sudden, there's a bunch of them crawling on the floor, kind of freaking me out. And now we're introduced to another main boss, Renala, just floating in the air, hugging a potato. In the first phase, I start to leg it around the room, wondering what on earth to do. I stab a few of the minions crawling across the floor, but then I get crushed by a gigantic chandelier. <laughs> Next thing you know, they're chucking books at me, but I've been dodging books my entire life, bro. I noticed some of the minions were glowing, so I got rid of them. This broke the force field surrounding the boss, and it just allowed me to go berserk with my axe. This is the most difficult boss in the entire game so far. What would you what do you guys think? Once we depleted her health bar, it moved on to phase two, where you appear in a body of water and there's a large moon facing you. Before I could take in the view though, Renala hits me with a Kamehameha wave. My fate lieth under my moon. So we go again. I'm ready to dodge the attack this time, but my character and my eyeballs get blasted by the beam again. I'm still hitting mad good swings with my heavy axe though. For the majority of this fight, I'm just locked on, running in circles, trying to dodge spells. She summons some wolves. I ignore them, give her a whack. She summoned a giant. I ignore it, give her a whack. She summons some more wolves. I'm just ignoring it all. I just keep whacking her. 
Renala is one hit from death, right? But this is Elden Ring, of course, so she deletes half my health bar with a spell combo. Fate, liar. It was a pretty good play, to be honest. GG's. We're back at it again, except I come up with a good plan this time. And the plan was to not die. So the exact same events occurred. I ran in circles, ignored everything, and gave Renala a whack, and we defeat her. <laughs> Magic's for losers, bro. Get real. Just wield a giant axe and whack stuff like me. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it big time. Leave a like for more videos and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.